It was a humbling of a giant. Barcelona suffered one of the most humiliating defeats in the Champions League history. They crashed out of the quarterfinals by 8-2 to two goals. It was a complete mess. It gave me flashback to the World Cup game between Germany and Brazil. The shockwaves of this hurtful humiliation will be felt for a long, long time. And Champions League 2020 will always be remembered by Barca fans for a moment of most graphic humiliation and it marks the end of this Barca team as we know it. There is so much to talk about guys, so let's just jump right into it. Vamos! It's back to the drawing board. Barcelona has to push the restart button and start the rebuilding process. But for that to happen, Bartomeu has to step down. That's the only option. Now Bayern was clear favorites by any measure and we always knew it was going to be difficult to beat them. But as a fan, you don't want to think the worst. We believed that in a one-off game and with Messi in the team, anything was possible. But we couldn't have been more wrong because Bayern completely obliterated us. They scored 5, 6, 7, 8 goals. It was complete madness. Bayern were courageous. They were on a mission. They were quite frankly ferocious. And not to take anything away from Bayern, but Barca was a colossal flop in this game. I mean, there aren't even enough adjectives in the English dictionary to even begin to describe how awful this was. Barcelona was so bad on the night, they would make anything look like world beaters. Because it wasn't like we buckled under the pressure of a great team. We threw in the towel before the game had even kicked off. We were in a state of psychological paralysis. We weren't able to press, we weren't able to pass or run. We were like a dare caught in the headlight. Now, do you remember Messi's warning after the Osasuna match in the post-game interview? He warned us right there. I remember him saying that this team does not fight. It has no spirit, no desire, no sense of urgency, no hunger, no nothing. If we play like this, we will lose against Napoli. Now, we won against Napoli, but looking back, guys, I really wish we didn't. Because that would have saved us from this disgrace. Now, the team has never really healed from the collapse against Roma and Liverpool. But we picked ourselves up and moved on. But don't expect that to happen here, guys. The atmosphere is too toxic for the players, the fans and the members to just suck it up and move on. The club needs big, big changes. And the sooner, the better. Now, Piquet said after the game that we have hit rock bottom. You know what? I disagree. This is lower than rock bottom. We have hit the bedrock of hell. No, seriously, guys, jokes aside, a tearful PK spoke to the media and his assessment was brutally honest. He said that the club need fresh blood and he is the first to step aside if that's what it takes to make it happen. But of course, this is not PK's fault. He's been loyal servant to the club for almost his entire life. Now, there are many at Barca who doesn't care about the club. They could care less. All they want is to go out there and pick up their check and it's all good. But Piquet is not one of them. He genuinely cares about the club. The problem is not Piquet. It's Bartomeu. He's always been the problem. He's the reason why we found ourselves in this mess to begin with. He's the root of all the problems at the club. But as you would expect, the cowardly Bartomeu takes no responsibility for his actions. He points fingers at everybody else except him. And any decent human being that have an ounce of care for Barcelona would have resigned in this situation. But you know what? He doesn't care for what's best for the club. He only cares about himself. John Laporta echoed those sentiments when he came out and slammed Bartomeu in a tweet after the game. He said... After this painful defeat, the statement of President Bartomeu are once again a sign of cowardice and ineptitude. The incompetence of him and his board disqualifies them from making more decisions that can condition Barca's future. Now Laporta knows what he's talking about. He's not an idiot and he's right on the money. Bartomeu is a coward and this clown needs to walk away immediately. But we all know that is not going to happen. Now there are reports that says that Bartomeu will call for early election in January or March or whatever. But seriously, I'm not believing that. He's just trying to win time. And by the end of January or March or whenever, it's just a few months away from the elections anyway. This clown is trying to play us. But does this idiot really believe that he can just walk away in a smooth transition, holding his head high? He's an idiot. The best case scenario now is that he steps down effective immediately. Now let's just hope it actually 
happens. But it isn't just the fans. Bartomeu has no friends left. There are many figures out there that want him out of the club. And after that humiliation, Victor Font came out and demanded that Bartomeu should resign and hold early elections. He said, tonight's result has only one word, humiliation. Let's not lengthen the agony or waste more precious time. Bartomeu's resignation is needed with elections as soon as possible. We need to rebuild the club and restore the image of Barca. It wasn't just the fans or potential candidates that came out and criticized him. Many players in the squad also expressed their feelings. And Frankie de Jong was one of them. And in my opinion, he was the only player that actually tried in the game against Bayern. But of course, he was deeply affected by this disgrace. He expressed his views on the situation and called for major changes at Barcelona. He said this in a post-match interview. This result has shown many issues within the team. We apologize to the fans, but it's clear we need to change. This was not about talent, but about hard work and intensity. We have to work on that, and that comes from every area of the club. I really feel sorry for this kid. Unfortunately, he is in the right place at the wrong time. And another player that came out and voiced his opinion was Ansu Fati. A player you would least expect to speak up. Because first of all, he has nothing to do with this mess to begin with. And second, he has just signed a new contract. But this goes to show how loyal he is to the club. He said, I still haven't slept yet. This hurt me a lot. This game showed that we have a lot of problems within our team. This cannot be accepted. A lot have to change. And I want to say sorry to the fans. The way we played is a disgrace for a club like Barcelona. Now is the time for the players, the fans and the members to unite against this corrupt leadership. It's time to usher in drastic changes and free our club from this institutional bondage. We need to take measures to start the rebuilding process now. One thing is crystal clear. If Bartomeu does not step down soon, then Messi will leave. Make no mistake about it. And from there, things will only get much worse. The time has come now for Bartomeu to walk away. Thanks for watching guys. Now if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and I will see you soon. But until then, it's Visca El Catalunya.